Um, I'm going to be looking at some um, cloning, hard drive cloning software. And the reason I'm kind of doing this is because uh, my son's computer, uh, I'm showing some uh, on the uh, the smart status, it's showing some uh, errors each time I use it. And I know it's probably eventually going to go out, so I kind of would just want to clone it over directly to another hard drive and then, you know, save all the settings, software and everything, make it as easy as possible instead of having to uh, reload everything. So we're going to take a, uh, actually take a look at two different ones. Now, I, I need a, for a solution, I really, you know, I kind of deal a lot with mostly Mac and Windows and uh, every once in a while Linux. So I need to be able to try to be able to use all three types of uh, or different file systems. And uh, CloneZill is actually based on a Linux distribution. I believe it's uh, the Bon, I think. And... It supports a uh, wide range of formats, um, Windows, NTFS, FAT, uh, Linux, e, uh, EXT2, 3, and 4, excuse me. And most importantly, uh, HFS Plus for Mac OS, in case I have to uh, clone, you know, um, my Mac hard drives. Now... So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it now. In a, uh, we got it up in the virtual machine. The uh, latest distribution. We'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick. And wow, that was quick. Uh, really quick. Uh, we're going to see if we can... Um, up the uh, resolution. Hopefully this is going to work. Uh, initially I had a few problems. It was due to operator error. Uh, you'll see a blank screen for uh, so many seconds, and it should come up. Now, we're not probably going to go through the whole install process or cloning process uh, simply because I don't have another um, hard drive to clone, but we're going to kind of take a look at it. And there's actually several um, cloning software out there. Some that are proprietary, but they're free versions. And uh, this one is obviously the free one, and it's fairly popular. And here you just kind of choose your um, type, of, type of language. Normally you can usually uh, type in the default ones. Um, don't touch the keyboard mapping, want to keep that. Okay, this is where you actually start the cloning process. And uh, here you can choose two different ones. Enter the, uh, the shell, DOS prompt, or well, excuse me, not DOS prompt, that's Windows um, command line. Uh, of course, we're going to start the uh, CloneZilla portion. And, uh, of course, you got a couple of options here. Um, now, device image is kind of you're going from like a hard drive type uh, scenario uh, to an image file. If you wanted to save like a um, your hard drive and, and restore it later like in a backup situation. And then you can go uh, the reverse direction, image uh, to device, obviously. Now, if you want to uh, clone one directly, um, let's say you're upgrading your hard drive from a smaller one to a larger one or one that's um, mechanically failing and something like that, then you would choose a, a device, uh, device scenario. Uh, work directly from a disk or partition to another disk or partition, and then obviously you would... Uh, Okay, that, and it's got a couple of different uh, options. Uh, beginner, just you're just using all the default methods, and it's an easier way to do it uh, from one hard drive to another. Uh, expert mode as well, and we're just going to use expert for now and see some of the uh, uh, settings. And uh, here we're choosing. Uh, you got local disk to local disk which is probably going to be the most common. Um, disk to a remote disk, I'm guessing it's going to be probably maybe through a network or something. I'm not entirely sure on that one. And uh, now let's say, exit enter on the command prompt. And let me see if I can get this to work. I'm going to try to cancel out of it because I actually want to show you another
and hopefully we get this to work. Now let's say um, you know you messed up and you want to start over instead of rebooting the whole thing. It kind of gives you a, a choice, and uh, before you go to a DOS prompt, if you really want that, um, of course, number one, stay in the uh, in this console, and uh, or enter the command line, or let me see. Um, I actually should have an option to restart over. Uh, run command. Let me see what happens. Okay, there you go. Now it gives you uh, several more options. Uh, power off, reboot, enter command line, or start over. And if you make a mistake or uh, change your mind, we're just going to type 3. We're going to start this over again because I'm going to show you some of the other options. So uh, we're going to start CloneZilla again. And, uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and do the um, device device. And this time we're going to go into expert mode and uh, we'll try disk to disk. Tell you the truth, I don't have another. And as you can see, we don't have a uh, uh, another disk to clone. Okay, this is just like primarily to show you some of the options and uh, how it works. And we're going to take uh, a look next at... Um, uh, a different one. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at uh, another uh, disk cloning software. I know this is particular old uh, uh, Norton Ghost 2003. They they have some newer versions. I think it may be high as 15. Um, but now, I kind of prefer the ones that you can boot up and uh, not have it install directly on the hard drive, which you can. So if you're doing it for somebody else, then obviously uh, you might actually avoid the uh, software terms of service licensing. So uh, we're still going to go ahead and take a look at it. It's one of my favorites uh, I've used for many years. And it's pretty uh, straightforward, uh, very much like what you see with Clonezilla. Now, unfortunately... Um, well, for listen, let me tell you some of the file systems it covers, obviously... Um, It'll cover uh, Windows, FAT, uh, NTFS. Uh, we'll cover uh, some of the Linux file systems. Uh, I think up to e EXT3. It doesn't cover 4, which is already out. And it does not do um, Mac, HFS plus um, file systems. Now, supposedly they say that you can still, it should be able to clone almost any type of file system. And uh, I believe they call it um, um, sector to the sector mode. So we're going to go to options because I think you have to set it here. And you can change some of the uh, the settings. And uh, we're just going to run through them real quick. And uh, here's some here. Okay, yeah, you do have sector to sector. And uh, you probably, uh, to do that, like I said, if you want to um, possibly clone a, uh, a Mac drive or some of the unsupported ones. Uh, you probably don't want to set it on default. Um, you could probably try image all like it says right here. Forces sector by sector and it uses the flag uh, dash IA. So you'd uh, do something like image all. And uh, now also if you wanted to uh, make it a bootable image then you'd have to choose um, which obviously you probably do. Then you would do uh, image boot which does a sector to sector and also copies the um, the boot sector um, to the hard drive as well, and obviously you would uh, accept that, uh, as long and along with some other settings too. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, cloning here. We got to clone. Um, you go from uh, disk to disk, uh, which you normally would do, or disk to image uh, if you wanted to do a backup and then restore later on. And then you can even go. Uh, once you wanted to restore, you could go from image uh, to the disk. And obviously you could do um, separate partitions and a partition to image. Instead of doing the whole hard drive, uh, you have multiple partitions, especially like Linux, um, where you might have a um, swamp file that you don't want to really clone. So you just use the um, partition only. And I'm not sure you can okay you can also check the uh, file integrity of the image and or disk as well 
And uh, like I said, I'm not really going to go through this whole process because I don't have a, uh, another hard drive to clone. I just want to cover some of the uh, disk imaging software out there. And of course, uh, keep in mind, this is the old, very old version, but um, so um, that is it.